Hello everyone. Today I want to share with you on how to round your new salary or any numbers with the functions related to round, like the round and round, round up and down. So the scenario here is that、um, often we give people merit increase.、Um, we calculate based on percentage, and then we have a new salary after the increase. But then more than.、Um, More often, the number that we calculated after、um, is a number with many digits, and、um, there might be realistic cases where we need to run this number to an, to an action number that we can pay. So I have listed out、um, a few scenarios of. Different requests for rounding the number so that、uh, it actually makes sense and payroll can actually process the payment.、Um, so let's start with the first one. So the first one is probably the most common one, which is you round to one cent,、um, and of course、um, that is the usually the lowest uh, pay uh, the pay unit that you can actually pay.、Um, let's say if Um, this is a number that we have. You see, I have four digits after the decimal points.、Uh, but then, if I want to round it to cents, then I just say round、um, bracket. You select the number, and then for one cent, that's two decimal points, and then you just put two. And then that is actually the number you need. And then let's say let me, let me change this to some funky number so that this one would look slightly different. Uh, okay, so yeah, so you see、uh, the original number has three、um, decimal units, but then this one only has two. Okay, so the next case is what if we want to round it to one dollar? Like for this number,、um, it should be like one six two three nine six period. So in that case, that means that you still use a round function, but then to round to one dollar, which means that you have an integer number, which means that you don't have any、uh, digits after the decimal point, so you put zero. Yeah. So you see, that's how you get to it, and then to round it to ten dollars, and that's also common. Like for example, if you're paying certain country where the pay units is relatively large,、um, you might need to round it to a a higher number, and to do that, you still use a round function,、um, and note that for for ten, you're basically saying that. The first digit、uh, before the decimal point needs to be zero, right? And which means that、um, your number of digits is actually minus one.、Um, that will get you to、uh, round it to ten dollars. And it's actually very similar concept if you want to round it to hundreds, which is minus two. Yeah, you see, like they they round it to the nearest hundreds. Um, and a slightly tricky、uh, case here is what if I want to round it to fifty dollars?、Uh, uh, this is when you use the M round function. You select the number,、um, and then you basically say what's the multiple you want to round. And then here you say I want to round it to the multiple of fifty, and、uh, you see this is the number that we are looking for. And it's exactly the same thing for、uh, if you run want to run it to five hundred, you just put five hundred there, and then that's exactly how it's looking like. Yeah,、um, and there's also function of run up and down, which、uh, personally I didn't use as much, but then I think it sh should also be helpful for people. And it's basically run it.、Uh, you can run it up or down、uh, to the nearest unit that you want, and then it actually works the same way as the round function, which is you select the number that you want, and then you select the digits that you want. Like for example, for our、um, case here, one. We want to run it to one dollar. That's zero digits,、um, and then you see, yeah, I'm running this up, and、uh, it's the same thing for running down, which is you select the number,、um, you select the digits that you want, which in this case is minus two,、um, 
and、uh, yeah, you see it's rounded to the nearest one hundred、um, down. So that is all the cases that I want to share today, and I hope that you find this information helpful. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.